Hello, my name is Dan Julio, and since childhood, I've wanted to collect data from a model rocket. The Make with Maxim contest gave me the excuse to make that dream a reality. This video describes a system I built to both record flight data as well as transmit telemetry to a ground station. There are three parts. The most important part is a payload package consisting of the Maxim feather board, GPS and LoRa feather wings, a fast acting temperature sensor, a light sensor to detect rotation, and a rechargeable battery. It communicates with a simple base station consisting of a teensy LC and a second radio. The entire system is controlled and is data analyzed using an application running on a personal computer. The system is controlled using simple ASCII commands. Data acquisition rates vary from 100 samples per second for fast acting sensors to one sample every five seconds. The base station appears as a serial device to the application. When the payload is installed in the nose cone, it is switched on using a USB cable which triggers the PMC. The payload firmware identifies itself with a hello message. Packets are simple ASCII strings. Data is encoded in sentence form with a checksum. The feathers RGB LED is used to communicate status like acquiring a GPS fix. A once per second data stream may be enabled for any sensor. During flight, the GPS is enabled to transmit location to assist in rocket recovery. GPS output can be parsed to locate the rocket's position on Google Maps. Oh, the parachute tore off. Parachute is off. Amazingly, the rocket survived the fall and the payload operated for the entire flight. The USB port is used to both charge the battery and offload data from the micro SD card. The LED turns green when the USB is detected and the embed USB mass storage device can be enabled by a command from the user. After a short delay, the micro SD card shows up on the desktop and the flight data, a text file of sensor data sentences, can be copied to the computer. Once the data has been copied, the payload can be remotely shut down by a command. It will also automatically shut down when the LiPo is at low charge using the PMIC voltage monitoring function. Data is loaded into the application and then parsed using the Analyze button. This takes a few seconds and has been edited here for brevity. The application will plot any accelerometer and light sensor data it finds. The time scale can be adjusted to show the entire flight. This is the data from the first flight. You can clearly see the initial acceleration, followed by a coast phase. Interestingly, during the flight there were two times where data was not recorded to the micro SD card. The rocket tumbling after parachute ejection is clearly shown, as well as the rough landing. Unfortunately, I didn't check the light sensor in full sun and its output was pegged for the entire flight. Data from each sensor is also separated into tabular form. The accelerometer data is time stamped and other data includes sequence numbers to assist in identifying data dropouts. 
The GPS data can be exported for display in an application like Google Earth. The GPS lost fix in this flight and reported the same coordinates. The 3D printed base was cracked from the force of ejection and the parachute shredded. The data dropouts and loss of GPS fix strongly hint that there are still bugs in my code, but I'm sure this rocket will fly again. Thanks for watching.